I've just arrived at Sydney International Airport for the first time in three years. It's fair to say, this is where the fun begins. Okay, so I've caught the train to Sydney International Airport. It takes 11 minutes from Central Station, quite convenient. A little bit pricey, uh, because you do have to pay an airport access fee, which I think is quite common among any train service that services an airport here in Australia. So I usually fly with Qantas. You can check in using these automated kiosks. Quite easy and straightforward to use. You may need assistance if you are travelling to a country where a visa is required. Okay, we're all checked in. Time to have a bit of a wander around this part of the airport before going through immigration and exiting Australia. Surprisingly, there are quite a few closed shops. With travel now ramping back up, I would have thought the airport would be busy with all shops open. Finally made it through immigration and security. It was very slow today. I was hoping to get something to eat. I suspect I may not have time. Of course, we have the usual duty-free stores. Even in this area, there are quite a few stores closed. A bit of work going on. So up these escalators is the Qantas Lounge and I believe I'll actually have access next trip. A few of the fancier stores uh, around this area. But not as much to show as I was expecting. Okay, that takes you down to gates 50 to 63. In this zone, we've got a few restaurants and cafes. Zone for gates 8 to 10. Gates 24 to 26 down this way. Also an airline lounge. Alright, this is where I'm heading down to gate 37. Travelling to Phuket via Singapore. And I did manage to squeeze in a quick lunch. There are actually a few shops down here. In addition to some toilet facilities and showers.
Right, so that's Sydney International Airport as it is at the end of October 2022. Still a few closed shops, a bit of work going on, but at least you've got a bit of an idea as to what to expect if you're travelling through Sydney International Airport. I'm about to board for a flight to Singapore. The plan is to actually do a bit of a tour of Terminal 2, which has been recently renovated. I think the renovations are complete, or at least 90% complete. We'll find out when I get there. Hopefully I've actually got time to check it out. It's a relatively short layover, but I'll do my best. Don't forget, if you like the video, click that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, particularly if you would like to see more travel and adventure videos. I'll see you in Singapore.